I can think of few hair color products more reviled and villainized by professional stylists than Splat. I have heard everything from it's fabric dye to um, it will never come out of your hair to it comes right out of your hair. It just won't stay like professional colors. So there's a lot of misinformation out there about Splat, but there's probably also some some good information. So I wanna just talk about Splat and some finer points of it and compare it to some professional colors as well. So I went out and got this Splat, what is it called? The Complete Kit, Lusty Lavender. Um, I picked lavender in particular because I feel like it's a, it's kind of a tough color. Sometimes as purple fades, you can get really weird results. You can get really, um, it can fade to pink, it can fade to green because the hair underneath is yellow and the blue pigment stays longer than the red pigments because we know that red and blue makes purple or violet because we're super fancy and professional. Splat is typically defined as a semi-permanent color. Now semi-permanent, as I've talked about in other videos, is a category, not a promise. Semi-permanent means it's a non-oxidative color. We don't add developer to it. It just comes out of the bottle the color it is and the color you get is a combination of the color in the bottle and the color your hair is. That's semi-permanent. The term semi-permanent has nothing to do with how long it's gonna last in the hair or how long it's not gonna last in the hair. We should take note though that not even Splat calls this a semi-permanent color. They actually call it long lasting color. What does that mean? I don't know. That's not an official classification. Is Splat the villain that hairstylists claim it is? I'm going into this with an open mind. I'm just genuinely curious. I haven't dealt with a bunch of splat. I've mostly dealt with professional colors uh, throughout my career. First thing I want to take note of though is the box. You can tell that the violet in the photo is totally enhanced. If you take a look at their hair, even the shadows are purple. So <laughs> this is definitely, there's been some manipulation to really make these look nice. And I love how they say images on the packaging do not reflect the individual hair color results you will achieve. Results will vary depending on your hair's natural color, condition, and porosity. Before I open this box, let's take a look at the ingredients as well, because this is a bleaching kit as well as the semi-permanent color. Splat color ingredients. Water, acryl dimethyl polymer may contain acid red 52, acid yellow 3, acid orange 7, acid blue 1, basic blue 9, basic red 46. So it sounds like they just kind of have a generic ingredient label, and these are, are generally the colors that they use on almost any given pigment. We have blue, red, and yellow. You can make any color out of blue, red, and yellow because those are the primary colors. So it's probably just a um, probably just a basic label. Now, regarding the first complaint, splat is fabric dye. Is it? Well, yes and no. Is it a toxic, harmful fabric dye? No. Can it be used to dye fabrics? Yeah, natural fibers, but these are also the same pigments used in professional colors. Um, these are all certified colors. They're all uh, regulated by the FDA, in the United States that is, and, and certified to come in contact with skin and hair. So can these pigments be used to dye fabric? Yes. Are they different than the pigments used in professional colors? They're really similar and probably some of these very pigments are used in professional dyes as well. And in general, these are probably not the pigments used to make good color fast permanent fabric dye. An interesting note though, basic blue nine is used as a veterinary antiseptic and also as an antidote to cyanide poisoning. If you get cyanide poisoning, call poison control, don't drink splat. Is splat fabric dye? Yes, but not any more so than professional colors. Splat developer, splat bleach, and splat hair color. Also directions. Oh, some really nice, fashionable clear gloves. But who reads directions? Just kidding, I read them beforehand. These always make me laugh. So after checking the ingredients for 
the Splat Lightning Powder. It's a pretty standard lightning powder. There's nothing special or ridiculous about it. I tested the developer beforehand because one thing that's not written on the box, not written on here, is what volume developer am I using? They just call it Splat Oxide. That's all they tell you. Like, are you serious? So in another video, which I did not turn my mic on in, I determined that this is 30 volume. So at least in this case, the Splat Lusty Lavender, the Splat Oxide, which I can only assume is always gonna be the same across the board, they give you 30 volume in the box. This is one of the great things about getting your hair done professionally, especially the initial color removal. As a professional stylist, I can choose exactly what developer I need to use. I can apply it quickly and efficiently and make sure I'm not frying your hair because most people I would not use 30 volume developer on. Then we've got our hair color. It's pretty purple. Put it on some blonde weave, and this is what I got. Sort of a, sort of a pinky purple, maybe? And I decided to do some comparisons with some professional colors to see what this was most like. I got Matrix So Color Cult, Royal Purple. Also Matrix So Color Cult, Blooming Orchid. It's a little closer to that, definitely more pinky. Joyco Color Intensity, Amethyst Purple. I think this is our closest one. And because I didn't know how they were gonna turn out, I did a couple blues as well. I'm gonna save these swatches for another video. I think the one that was most like it was the Joyco Color Intensity Amethyst. And I thought I might also compare it with the So Color Cult Royal Purple. So Royal Purple's the darkest. Amethyst and Splat are pretty close in tone. They're both kind of pinky. Although this one is definitely the lightest and the pinkest. That's the Splat right there. So what's it gonna to take to remove them? I took Wella Blondor and 20 volume, mixed them up in a two to one ratio, and set off to discover how easy is it to remove splat. After 25 minutes, my Joyco color intensity ended up looking like this. Not only did it remove very, very well, but it removed pretty quick. And the hair feels nice after have, only having to be lightened again for 25 minutes. At 25 minutes, here's what the other two look like. Now at 40 minutes, here's what my So Color Cult royal purple looked like. You can see we still have some of those, those blue turquoisey kind of shades in there, but I got a lot of it out. And this is important because more and more people are expecting to dye their hair one color. And then when that fades out or when they're ready, when they have new growth, they might want to go 180 degrees and do a different color. So not bad, those removed. But how did this flat do? Drum roll, please. Nah, I won't make you wait much longer. But I do want to say thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please do leave a comment and a like below and check out the splat. Oh my gosh, that is a really great hot pink. I mean, that is a hot, hot pink. Look at that compared to the Joyco color intensity. That is pretty unreal, man. At least when it comes to the Lusty Lavender, this was after one hour of bleaching. This was after 25 minutes of bleaching. That's a pretty good indicator that it might not be worth it to keep going. I mean, what can I do on a pink base? Oof, bad news splat. I came into this with high hopes. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect. They give you a developer. They don't tell you what it is. They tell you to put the purple on your hair. Now in defense of Splat, I would be really curious how long this stays in, shampoo after shampoo, as opposed to the Joyco in the Matrix. It really just depends on what you're going for. If you want to be purple for the rest of your life, maybe you should try Splat. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you want to hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.